Hello, class. Welcome to week one, class number two. This is uh, January 28th, and we're going to hop right into some really detailed writing assignments. Now, that first writing assignment should have been pretty easy. Remember, that's due today. That's due on the 28th at 11.59 p.m. Now, this second part is going to require you to spend most of today's class reading an article. That article is linked here on this page. It's also provided as a PDF and uh, on the Blackboard page. And this article is titled, Farmers Don't Need to Read the Science, We Are Living It. Now, this is an opinion piece uh, written by a farmer in the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, this was written in 2019. Um, and take, a take your time, it's about two pages. Read through, highlight parts of it, take some notes. Um, but I want you to craft a two-page response to this article, right? Um, it should be about a paragraph per page. Uh, the first page or the first paragraph should explain your perspective on the article's argument. Uh, is the article persuasive? Why or why not? And we want you to really embrace your, your paradigms, your biases for a moment. We want you to use your personal anecdotes. We want you to uh, allow your own opinion to be uh, the, the really big carrying factor in this. Um, following that paragraph, I want you to discuss how the issue presented in this article affects one other issue from another related agricultural category that could be egg labor, markets, land stewardship, water resource use, or water scarcity, uh, and so forth. Now, with this paragraph, I want you to use at least one reliable, emphasis on the word reliable, outside short source to show their causal connections. I want you to cite that source. If you can use APA format, great. If you uh, just provide a link, that's fine too for right now. We'll go into APA format next week. Uh, this uh, whole assignment here, parts one, two, and three, are due no later than uh, February 4th at 11.59 p.m. using the link on Blackboard, that Turnitin link. Um, this first part, it says no credit or credit, but this is really a 10-point assignment. Um, if you turn this part in and it has good content, you're getting full credit. Now, uh, make sure that you follow the uh, assignments laid out at the bottom here. And if you want to read more from this, uh, this farmer, go ahead and click this 2015 Fresno Bee article. A uh, really neat farmer. Now, you've read this two-page article, you've taken notes on it, you've crafted a response to that article. Uh, we're going to move on to part two of this assignment, this 20 point assignment. This is a five point part or portion of your, your uh, writing assignment number two. And I want you to reflect on your knowledge and your experience pertaining to agriculture. In one paragraph or one page, I want you to identify and discuss a specific issue that you think our class should address. Now this portion does not relate back to the Farmers don't need to read the science we are living in article. This is a separate one. We're going to build more on this particular issue throughout the class. Um, but this is the first part of this. We're, we're going to spend some time uh, crafting some ideas as to what sort of agricultural issues that we want to take on as a semester project. Um, and this is the very first step in this. Just reflect on your experiences, re reflect on your knowledge, and you get to choose one thing in this particular section, which is um, identifying discussing one specific issue that could be water usage, that could be um, livestock related, it could be grazing management, right? It could be um, implementation of, of policies for cover crop usage, whatever you want to go into, right? But it doesn't really matter what you choose in this particular section. You need to use evidence to justify your choice that this is a, a issue worth discussing, worth covering as a class. Again, I want you to cite that source, uh, a reliable source. 
um, and put it in the, uh, the one paragraph response. Now, this final portion, this is going to uh, happen as a Blackboard discussion board post, right? So this third part, I want you to take a few minutes and I want you to, in these few minutes to think about how climate change may affect agricultural production and how your personal history shapes your outlook on climate change. So this is just a thinking portion right now, right? We're taking a few minutes, we're thinking about potential implications of climate change on agriculture and how our own personal beliefs, um, our own paradigms, our own ways of thinking uh, have shaped our own outlooks, right? This is some self-reflection. Then on the discussion board, on Blackboard, and you'll see this in the 128 uh, section of week one in the class content tab, uh, I want you to post a paragraph or two on Blackboard on that forum. And you'll see that forum, it's pretty clearly linked. Uh, I want you to post in response to the following prompt. Um, given the article's conclusions, that's the, the article of farmers don't need to read the science, we are living it. What should California producers do to either mitigate or adapt to climate change? And I want you to be specific. I want you to use, talk about specific commodities or regions of California. California is not one homogenous state. Uh, you can talk about production practices. That could be um, talking about maybe use in orchards or use in strawberry fields or um, practices such as using uh, no-till or reduced till uh, agriculture or cover cropping, you name it. Um, and as always, we have these specifications, have your, your name and so forth in this top left-hand corner of, the, of your response page, your class and section, double-spaced, one-inch margin, one-page length. Um, spend some time on this. This is going to be, uh, oh, about probably two and a half pages to cover parts one and two. And then part three is uh, another paragraph or two on a Blackboard response. So again, this is a writing intensive class. Um, this whole assignment isn't due until February 4th, but that's really not that much time. We got about a week to go through that. So I advise starting this today and uh, getting a head start. All right, that's it for today's video. Again, work on this assignment. This is going to require a lot of work. This is going to require you to read, take notes, and then uh, write and write about your own biases, your own paradigms, your own ways of viewing uh, climate change, particularly in response to this article. But, Farmers don't need to read the science, we are living it. All right, thank you all, have a good weekend. And I think we meet back, let's double check, uh, for a synchronous class on February 2nd. So I will see you all then, all right.